In this video, I provide recommendations on which order to play the Yakuza series, along with some historical details about how the games have come to be in their current configuration. If you're someone that has already started the series, this is a video you can pass along to your friends so they can get in on the fun. I'm Chill, and this is where you should start the Yakuza series. You might have noticed the list of Yakuza games is pretty extensive at this point and wondered where is the best entry point to get started. Some people may ask, in what order should I play the Yakuza games? Like many other players, I recommend starting with Yakuza 0. Released in 2015, it takes place in 1988 Japan and is one of the best games in the series, in my opinion, and maybe even one of the best games ever. Understand, though, that because it is so exceptional that after you finish enjoying it, the other titles may not reach the same high watermark. But that depends, of course, on your opinion. To get the most out of your experience, check my beginner's guide on Yakuza 0. After that, I recommend following up with Yakuza Kiwami, which is a 2016 remake of the old PS2 title released in 2005. This remake runs very similarly to Yakuza 0, though there are some pretty distinct differences between it and the previous game. Check my guide on Yakuza Kiwami for details. Kiwami is excellent, well worth your time, but some would say it's not as quite as amazing as Zero. After you complete Yakuza Kiwami, you can play Yakuza Kiwami 2. Released in 2017, it is a remake of the PS2 title released in 2008, and it includes some follow-up content to complete the story threads introduced in Zero and Kiwami. Be sure to check my beginner's guide on Kiwami 2 to get the best experience. From there, you should go to the Yakuza Remastered Collection and play 3, 4, and 5. Just know that because these games are simply remastered versions of PS3-era games, they may not have the same level of polish and design excellence you've grown accustomed to with the previous titles, but they're still very much worth playing. Now, some people may ask, can I start with the Yakuza 3? Well, you can technically start with any of the games in the series. Just know that depending on where you begin, you're going to miss out on some callbacks and references. Certain story developments may not have the same emotional impact as they would if you followed the series from the beginning. And even if you do start with Zero, you're going to miss out on some of the intended callbacks that were meant to play on the expectations of players that experienced the other games first. Knowing this, some players might ask, should I start with Yakuza Kiwami or Yakuza Zero? You could do either but I still recommend experiencing the series chronologically, so start with Zero. You can circle back after you finish the series and enjoy all of the nods and references that you might have missed. So, to reiterate, my recommended order is Yakuza 0, Yakuza Kiwami, Yakuza Kiwami 2, Yakuza 3, 4, and 5, or otherwise known as the Remastered Collection, Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, which uses the same engine you enjoyed while playing Kiwami 2, and then Yakuza Like a Dragon. After that, you can follow up with some of the spin-off titles, such as Judgment, which takes place in the same fictionalized locations from the games. Some may ask, can I play 7 or Yakuza Like a Dragon first? You can, and the game was actually created to be an entry point for certain people who might be new to the series. You won't have any trouble following the story, as the main character isn't familiar with any of the stories from the previous games. Everything will be new to you as it is to him. Just know that you'll be missing out on the emotional impact of certain parts of the story if you haven't played the previous titles. Lastly, some people might ask, why should I play the Yakuza series? There are so many reasons that describing all of them could take a 30 minute video or more. To keep things short and concise, here are the highlights I would impress on you, though there are plenty more where that came from. By the way, if you want to discover all these things for the first time on your own, I recommend you stop watching now. Still there? Okay, these are my top reasons for playing the Yakuza series. First of all, detailed depiction of Japan. The settings in the Yakuza series are based on real-life locations, and they are overflowing with little details that make the places feel alive. Check this photo I took while standing on a bridge in Sotenbori in Yakuza Kiwami 2. Now, take a look at this photo I took myself in real life while standing on a bridge in Osaka. While walking through the streets, you can even dine at restaurants, all providing genuine meals and treats from the area. The Yakuza games are tickets to a virtual Japan, complete with exciting leisure activities. Next, exciting and fun minigames. Play cards and dice games seeped in Japanese culture. Learn mahjong, play Japanese chess or shogi, play pool, play darts, go bowling, play golf, head to the batting cages, go to the arcade, play classic Sega games, win prizes from the claw machines, head out to dance at the club or try managing a cabaret club yourself. Do any of these things and more. Next, outstanding stories and characters. You'll remember the characters you meet and the stories in the series long after you stop playing. On top of the great substance are great performances by voice actors that carry the excitement to the limits. Despite the wild and wacky aspects of the games, there is an emotional core in each entry that is intense, mature, and moving prime drama. 
Lastly, if you're studying Japanese, these games can serve as great tools for listening practice. You can learn different kinds of Japanese slang words that you won't find in textbooks. You can also gain some cultural insights into Japan that you might not have experienced before. That's all I have to share for now. Thanks for watching. I hope this video finally gets you to try the series if you haven't already. If you're someone who already loves Yakuza and is interested in unique content, including news stories from Japan and the gaming world, this channel was made for you. I try to release one video per week and stream the games daily, so please drop a like and or sub if inclined, and I'll see you later in Camarocho.